Oh, good morning, madam. Can I help you? I'm looking for a watch. It's a present for my husband. Well, I'm sorry, madam. We don't do watches. You don't? But I thought... Oh, our name, timekeepers. Yes, I'm afraid a lot of people find that misleading. But if you don't sell watches, what do you sell? Clocks? No, we don't sell clocks either. We sell time. Time? Time. All kinds of time. Well, except for free time, of course. Perhaps you'd just like a good time. I can offer you one. But how can you sell time? It's a precious commodity. I'm sure you've heard how proud people are when they say, my time's my own. I'm afraid I can't sell you any futures here, though. You will have to visit our stockbroker for that. If it's present, on the other hand. You said you don't do watches or clocks. No, when I say present, I mean present time. We've got a huge range. Range. Yes, but we don't sell the past either. The past is another country, I'm afraid. No past, no future then. That's right, just the present. No watches or clocks. But we do so many things associated with time. Time tables, books of hours, that sort of thing. And tell me, what does your husband do? He, he works for a firm of builders. Well, in that case, he won't want short time, and I expect he gets plenty of double time and even time and a half. He needs a watch, really, to tell the time? No watches. What about leisure time? He can't tell leisure. Of course you can. We've got time on our hands here. As for selling, haven't you ever heard anyone say he'd bide his time? Oh, that's not what it means. And you must have heard people say they've had an expensive day. Well, yes, but... What does your husband do on his days off, his, his pastimes, as it were? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm getting more confused than ever. Well, I realise it is very confusing. I mean to say, you often hear people talking about spending their free time. Now, how can you? Well, I've never even thought about it. No, there you are. People just don't think about it. That's why we're here. There are so many kinds of time. Walk time, peace time, lunch time, tea time, supper time, rag time, waltz time, part time, full time, overtime, play time, summer time, winter time, Greenwich mean time. We no longer have a first time, I'm afraid, and of course we want to hang on to our last time. But we still have party time. Oh, stop! All I want is a timepiece. We don't stock them. Piece time, yes. Timepiece, no. Oh, then thank you. I think I'm wasting your time. Spare time? What? Has your husband got plenty of spare time? He spends a lot of it as secretary to the angling club. Well, then, how about a timeline or a minute book? Not what I had in mind. Timeshare? Oh, certainly not. The British summertime? No, thank you. I'll go somewhere else and buy him a watch. Oh, before you go, uh, at least let me give you this. What is it? A bit of card? More than that. Read it. It just says 1030. Well, it's the least we can do to give our customers the time of day. Think of it as a free sample. I suppose there's no chance I could interest you in a time trial. No. You've tried my patience as it is. If I don't walk out of here now, I'm likely to end up doing time for you myself. Perhaps you might find something in our other shop. What other shop? Space makers. <laughs> What do they sell? Space? Absolutely. Well, I'm sure you know that according to Einstein, that space and time are interchangeable. They're the same thing, really. But this is ridiculous. Oh, not at all, madam. Of course, everyone is entitled to his own personal space, but some people want a lot more. We can sell it to you, and we have another very wide range in stock. This is getting absurd. Well, of course, some of it is very expensive, especially if you want deep space or even intergalactic space. But I'm sure you'll find they've got everything to suit all tastes. And there's even public space as well as open space. That's enough. I only came in here to buy a watch. I'll try somewhere else. I've been doing my best ever since you said you wanted a watch. Working overtime, you could say. 
I'm afraid you haven't made a sale. I'd say you've come off second best. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, very good, madam. Very good. Have a good day. No, thanks. Goodbye. Time waster. Splendid cat had mewed. <laughs> Thrice and once the hedgehog whined. Oh, up his cry, tis time, tis time. <laughs> Round about the cauldron go, in the poisoned entrails throw. <laughs> oh, that swelter the venom got. Boil thou first in the charmed. <laughs> Remember it well. We met at nine. And we met at eight. I was on time. No, you were late. Uh, yes, I remember it well. We dined with friends. And we dined alone. A tenor sang. A baritone. Uh, yes, I remember it well. That dazzling April moon. There was none that night, and the month was June. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> it warms my heart to see that you remember still the way you do. Ah yes, I remember it well. How often I've thought of that Friday. Monday. Night when we had our last rendezvous. And somehow I foolishly wondered if you might, by some chance, be thinking of it too. That carriage ride. You walked me home. You lost a glove. I lost a comb. Ah, uh, yes. I remember it well. That brilliant sky. We had some rain. The Russian songs. Oh, from sunny Spain. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I remember it well. You wore a gown of gold. I was all in blue. 
Am I getting old? Oh no, not you. How strong you were, how young and gay, a prince of love in every way. Ah, yes. I remember it well. A useful soup, an ox cheek, any trimmings of beef, say four pounds, a few bones, any pot liquor the larder may furnish, a quarter of a peck of onions, six leeks, a large bunch of herbs, half a pound of celery, half a pound of carrots, half a pound of turnips, half a pound of coarse brown sugar, half a pint of beer, four pounds of common rice or pearly barley, half a pound of salt, one ounce of black pepper, 10 gallons of water. Empty a packet of cup of soup into a mug, top it up with boiling water. To keep potatoes from budding in the sack, place an apple or two on the top. Buy smash, keep it in the cupboard for years, no peeling, no hassle. An iced cake for special occasions. Three and a half pounds of flour, three pounds of fresh butter, seven and a half pounds of currants, three pounds of caster sugar, two grated nutmegs, a quarter ounce of mace, three quarters of an ounce of cloves, 24 eggs, what? One pound of sweet whole blanched almonds, three quarters of a pound of candied orange peel, three quarters of a pound of candied lemon peel, half a pound of candied citron. What's that? One gill of brandy. That's a bloody waste. And when all is mixed, bake for about six hours. Tesco sell ready-made cakes. They do decorated version. You can put a photograph in the icing if you want. An over-salted dish can be made more palatable by dropping in a slice or two of potato while it's cooking. If I over-salt a dish when I'm cooking it, then that's tough. Please recite with me the motto of today's cook. I made it, you will eat it, and I don't care what it tastes like. For a beautiful, glossy finish on your pie crust, brush with beaten egg white before baking. Sainsbury's frozen pie directions do not include any brushing of the crust with egg white. You just bung it in the oven. Well-sealed jars that are difficult to open can be immersed upside down in hot water for a minute or two. Then turn the jar right way up and it should unscrew without any difficulty. Why do I keep a man? A cure for the headache. Take a lime, cut it in half, and rub it on your forehead. The throbbing will soon go away. Cure for headaches. Take a lime, cut it in half, and drop it in eight ounces of vodka. Drink. You might have a headache, but you won't care anymore. Leftover wine should be carefully corked and left in a cool place. It can be used to flavour syllabubs, trifles and savoury dishes. <laughs> Leftover wine? <laughs>